Hey, Zion played last night. They were acting like he was the second coming of Jesus last night. <laughs> you know, we won't see him. We're going to see him on ESPN every day from now on. So what did you think about his performance last night? Hey, listen, I was a little worried the first three minutes, all right? Because, you know, you saw how he looked. You know what I'm saying? He looked like Booger McFarlane out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the, the fat was coming out. He, a, a crazy stat was that he was 285, which is the third largest weighted player in NBA history. Listen, you got to chill. I know he's, he's a Popeye biscuit away from being a tight end as Booger. <laughs> but listen, man, you got to chill and relax because what did he have? He had 22. He was four for four from three. Hey, he hit more threes than Ben Simmons did his whole career. And that's a fact. And that, that's good. And 18 points in what? The third quarter? Or 17. Nine? He had 17 in three minutes, which, which was great because, you know, it kind of showed that his like offensively, like what he could do capably, you know what I'm saying? What he's capable offensively. But I think in terms of what the lineups, what they bring for him, you know what I'm saying? I don't think him playing the five long term uh -huh. is gonna help him out beneficially, you know what I'm saying, with his body size. I want him at the four. Uh, so what do you see long term for him? Long term, I see him at this. All right, he's gonna play small ball five, but generally he's gonna play the four. And now with the four, what, what he's gonna do, is he's gonna stretch out the defense, you know what I'm saying, shoot more threes. And then with the five, with, when he's playing the small ball five, he's gonna actually run the offense and push the tempo, kind of like what Draymond Green does for yes. the Golden State Warriors. And listen, lastly, he is overweight. I understand that he's overweight, but he hasn't played. He hasn't played since summer league. So you have to relax. He's going to get back in game shape. Shut up about him being overweight. You see what he's doing out there? You see but them? the only thing I didn't like that he didn't play in the final two minutes to stretch down the game. I feel like he should have played for that. I know they're trying to keep him a minutes right. restriction. But if you're trying to win the game and you're trying to see what you got, let him play. I can say that to say this though. Shout out Zion for doing this thing because this is just a reward for us watching shitty Pelicans games on national television. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, this, that's how that's how I felt. You know, it was a it was a culmination of that. You know? Hey, Zion dreamt about being in the NBA all his life and he got drafted by the Pelicans. <laughs> hey, but, this Wizard King Arena is kind of lit though. Hey, but listen, what do you think is gonna what's gonna happen with him moving forward, real quick? I think Zion's gonna average a, like he's gonna be a double double guy for his career. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But personally, I think if he keeps the weight, it's going to be his biggest. Achilles heel and kryptonite. If he keeps his weight down to about 260, that's when we'll, we'll see his real full potential. And I think he'll be an all-star. Hey, here he goes about fucking weight again. <laughs> it's true, man. But it's listen, true. man. Listen, what do you guys think below? How do you feel about Zion's performance last night? And what do you think is going to happen going for us? Let us know. Comment below how you feel about that. You dig? Yeah. Hey, hey. For more videos, man, and more content, go run it up. Go check it out. Yeah. Like and subscribe, baby. You know. Uh.